Monastery Swift Spear was banned in Popper, and today we're going to run my favorite Popper deck, Cycle Storm. The deck featuring Reaping the Graves and Songs of the Damned. Let's go see how it is in the new world. What is Cycle Storm? I think that's a pretty fair question. So it's mostly creatures with the cycling mechanic. So we have Granith Healer, cycles for one mana. In fact, every creature in this deck cycles for one mana, except for Street Wraith, which cycles for life. So you want to fill your graveyard full of creatures. And then you have rituals like Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, and then the most powerful ritual in the deck, Songs of the Damned, that adds a black mana for each creature in your graveyard. So with all those creatures comes great mana. And then you play Reaping the Graves. This is how you create card advantage. And then you cycle all of those creatures again. You cast another Songs of the Damned, Reaping the Graves, card advantage after card advantage. Eventually you play Adranith Stinger and then cycle and kill your opponent. It's actually pretty simple. If I'm being honest with you, I played this deck last night. It was my first league in Pauper in four months because I believe that if you're not enjoying something, you don't have to do it. And I thought that Monastery Swiss Spear needed to be banned months ago, months ago, even before the last announcement. And I decided, hey, I'm done. This isn't fun anymore. And last night I decided to play again and I was terrible. I made so many misplays that cost me games. So I decided tonight I was going to run it back after, you know, getting back up on the bike and falling off. Maybe tonight I, would you know, find my balance. So that's what we're doing here today. And if you enjoy Popper, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. But we're just looking to, you know, cast some dark rituals and do some super fun stuff in this format. So hopefully you enjoy it and I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. I'm so excited to be playing Popper again. And here we've opened up double reaping the graves and some cyclers in a land. That means a keep to me. Our opponent is taking a mulligan to six. We're just going to play a vault of whispers and then pass the turn. Basic forest and Quarian Ranger. So this is probably if I had to take a wild guess walls. We'll cycle the Carabid. We draw a Dranith Stinger, we'll untap, looking for land number two here, we'll cycle the Dranith Healer, Dark Ritual, cycle the Street Wraith, no such luck, we have to pass. Our opponent returns the forest, they'll replay it, so now they have two green, they play a Wall of Roots, so now they can make a green using the Wall of Roots, and this is definitely walls. Not a very fast start for them, then again, I missed my land drop, so who am I to judge? Another Street Wraith, let's cycle that, going down to 15. Another Dark Ritual, let's cycle a Healer. Alright, so we missed again. I'm just going to play Lotus Petal and pass. They make another green, and then they cycle a Generous Ent. Sure thing. So they play the land, and then they're making two green. They had a third green using Wall of Roots. Axe Bane Guardian. Search on Apple. My phone decided to talk to me. My apologies. Okay, so let's, uh, I think we probably have to try to win on our turn. We have plenty of uh, fuel to do it, but I'm afraid that after missing land drops, all we're going to find is lands. Cycle the Stinger. We need to find a Songs of the Damned if we want to win. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Let's cast Deadly Dispute, sacrificing a land. There's the songs. I love it. Cycle. Cycle again. There's another land we don't want. We'll play the songs. Deadly Dispute, Sacrificing the Vault. Cycle the Street Wraith. Okay, we need some more mana here. We'll keep cycling. Just keep cycling. There's another Reaping the Graves. Cycle the Healer. Okay, so we have three mana. Storm is five, so Reaping the Graves is from six. So we have three free cycles from Street Wraiths here, so we're going to return those first. Okay, so let's see if we can get a little bit lucky here. Cycle of Street Wraith. Nope, all lands. Okay, cycle again. There we go. Complain and draw well. That's my motto. All right, so now we'll cycle the Street Wraith down to six life. And let's 
I want to keep these treasure tokens for red mana for later. Okay, cycle some more. 31 cards left in deck. Let's go. Just keep cycling. Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Baron more. Street Wraith puts me to four. Okay, cycle the Horror. Okay, I found this on the for taking. I apologize. My phone has a mind of its own tonight. Uh, okay, hopefully we don't have any more problems. Cycle. Okay, going down to eight mana. 23 cards left on our deck. We have two songs, a mystical teachings, and an ardent elementalist. Well, we drew the teachings, which is delightful. There's another stinger. We'll cycle that. Okay, so now we can play out the lotus petal. We have 20 cards left in our deck. Cast the teachings. Go grab a Songs of the Damned. We'll play it making 19 mana. And then we'll flashback Mystical Teachings. Grab the other Songs of the Damned. We'll play that making 19 more mana. And then Reaping the Graves. So now we're going to return 14 creatures and then deal our opponent lethal. I'm not going to return three wraiths if I can help it. Just because I can't really cycle them at four life. I could cycle one or what I can do is play out a Dranith Healer and then cycle, but I'll be honest, I am very lazy, and I don't want to have to click on Dranith Healer triggers while I'm clicking on Dranith Stinger triggers, so I'm just going to go for the easier win. And now we'll sacrifice these treasures for red mana. We'll play a Stinger. All you need is a little Sting in your life, right? Okay, so now we'll start cycling. Just two Stingers doing the Lord's work. Praise Karanos, God of Storms. Cycle. Do, 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 do. Okay, just keep cycling. I mean, this was a risky game just because we could not find lands to start off the game to save our life. And I was like, if I go for it, I'm going to end up hitting a pile of lands in the middle of the combo turn. And we did, but I was fortunate enough in the one spot where it mattered to rip a songs uh, off of the Street Wraith draw post reaping the graves, and that was the difference maker. Okay, and we're just continuing to cycle. Killing our opponent with dinosaurs. I love it. Jurassic Park. Terrific movie. There we go, and that's game number one. I recently rewatched uh, Jurassic World while riding my bike, and uh, I forgot how great that movie is. I don't care what anyone says, dinosaurs are cool. Anyway, back to magic. Uh, facing walls combo, we are just two ships passing in the night. I'm going to resubmit without sideboarding. Terrific hand. We'll keep this. This is definitely a hand that could win on turn three. Turn one, Avacyn's Pilgrim. Songs of the Damned, I love to see that. I'm just going to be lazy and cycle on my main phase. Knowing that we're facing walls, you're allowed to disrespect them a little bit because walls is another combo deck. They don't really have graveyard, hate, or interaction. Quarian Ranger, so now they can untap, the, or they can pick up the forest, untap the Pilgrim, replay the forest, and then play an Axe Bane Guardian, if that's what they want to do here. That's exactly what they want to do. So one of the things about this situation is they need a bunch of creatures with Defender to win. They only have the Axe Bane Guardian here. So you don't actually have to worry about dying on their turn three. I'd be very amazed if they won on their next turn. We'll just cycle a couple creatures. Pass the turn. Two mana. Okay, they undid it. They played a Cerulean Caretaker instead. Now they're tapping for a white. And then... The Axe Bane Guardian will make two mana. Sure. They pick it up. Now they untap the Guardian. They have four mana for another Axe Bane Guardian. So now this one will tap for three. They have four green in their mana pool. For a Winding Way, floating two green. They pick up an Overgrown Battlement and another copy of Ceruli Caretaker. Fun fact about walls, I own this deck completely Japanese foil. I played it earlier on in the year and really enjoyed the play patterns. So I started building walls and then after I completed the project, I was like, what should I do? I guess I should get it signed. So I think I'm like 15 to 20% of it signed at this point, working my way up. It's a really cool combo deck. I do enjoy it, but Cycle Storm has my heart. It's just way too fun. And they had another Quarian Ranger. Okay, well, if they have... Uh, the Drift of Phantasms, they could get me here, but they're making green mana. So I guess uh, I shouldn't have disrespected their one defender in play. Another Winding Way floating two green. They find another Overgrown Battlement and another Battlement. So they have two Battlements. 
They've played one. Sure. Okay. So I need to try to win the game here. We draw a land we don't need. We'll start off by cycling Street Wraith. Okay, Dark Ritual. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. And we'll cycle the Stinger. Street Wraith, okay. There we go. Now it's Deadly Dispute sacrificing a Great Furnace. We did not find any more creatures, but I don't mind the Storm spells. Or, well, spells for Storm. I'm going to cycle a Baron more here, see if I can get a little bit more juice out of the songs. There we go, we'll cycle that. Alright, I'm going to choose to cycle the Healer. It's a little bit greedy because I'm, I've am i used two Lotus Petals and a Deadly Dispute, but I just don't think Songs for Seven is good enough. Cycle the Baron more. Play out another Lotus Petal. And now Reaping the Graves floating five mana, which is a little bit better. Start off by returning the Street Wraiths. And then some other cards. Cycle these. Another Songs. I, I believe that's going to lock up this game. But never too good to count your chickens before they hatch or some other weird lame expression. Alright, I like the teachings draw. Okay, like I actually believe we've won now. But you do have to go through the motions. Cycle the Carabid. And now we'll play a Songs. Keep cycling. Ardent Elementalist. Okay, we can return the healer. Cycle. Cycle again. Songs makes 11. Cycle the Baron more. I guess I'll play Songs here. And then I'll play the Ardent Elementalist. I have one Songs left in the deck. I'm going to grab Deadly Dispute. And then Dispute away the Ardent Elementalist so I can theoretically cast it again later. Dark Ritual. Deadly Dispute now. I could save it for later. I'm choosing not to. Cycle the Carabid. I'm probably going to cast Teachings for the other songs if I don't cycle into it. Okay, less than 20 cards left in our deck, and there it is. Wonderful. Just keep cycling. Cycle the Barrymore, 16 cards. We'll play the songs. 20 mana. And Reaping the Graves, Storm 15. And our opponent concedes. Yes, that is match number one, and we are 1-0. I'll see you in the second match. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Okay, time for the second match. We're on the play. This hand seems delightful. We will keep. I'm saying that a lot tonight. I should find some other words to use. Pretty much any hand with multiple cyclers in one land is just a snap keep. Easy rule to playing this deck. Play the Vault of Whispers, pass the turn. Okay, so they're on fairies. I don't know if blue red fairies is still a thing anymore. Hitting both of our land drops there was good. All right, so we don't really want any more lands. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. Draw Dark Ritual, Cycle Street Wraith. We'd like another Cycler here, and I have failed. Instead, I've drawn two Rituals. There's the Cycler. We'll just pass. They cycle a Lorien Revealed. Okay. They play the land tapped and pass. Um, their end step will cycle the Vantasaur. That's the fourth creature in our graveyard. Ardent Elementalist. An interesting uh, draw there. Reaping the Graves is good. So if I Deadly Dispute and they counter, I'd have Dark Ritual is the seventh card in my graveyard into Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Reaping the Graves for four. I just don't know if that's good enough. What to do, what to do. I think I'm just going to pass. They have the fourth land. Oh, they just completely disrespected me. Okay, we're going to go for the win now. On their end step, we will Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Great Furnace. I did not draw another creature, shockingly. All right, we will untap, take a draw. Still no creature. I guess we're going to try to win with four creatures in our graveyard. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Play out the Lotus Petal. 
Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Let's... I'm actually going to Ardent Elementalist and get back Deadly Dispute here. Maybe this line's a little bit greedy, but... We can get back the Elementalist. And I'd like to, if this songs was not terrible. Cycle. Okay. Looks like we're doing fine now. Just keep cycling. Songs now makes 10. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Healer. Keep it moving. Storm is currently 8. Almost halfway through our deck. Third Reaping the Graves. Alright, so Reaping the Graves will target Ardent Elementalist. And then we want to return Street Wraiths first. We have two of them. And then some other creatures. Alright, so we've used one Songs of the Damned and we're roughly halfway through. There's another. I think we probably have this now. Just keep cycling. Okay, so... I'm going to Deadly Dispute, and then I'm going to cycle what we draw off the Deadly Dispute, and then I'm going to play Songs and just return everything else, because I think I'm ready to win the game. Alright, 16 mana, 16 mana. What's 35 mana possibly going to do? Come on. And now we'll Reaping the Graves again, just get back the other friends that we left in the graveyard. My friend, why would you tap out against me? That was just so disrespectful. Okay. Now we'll find our Dranith Stingers, or Stinger Singular. Let's play it, and just start cycling. 25 cards left in our deck. We have 30 mana. We're doing just fine here. There's another Stinger that's going to shorten this. We'll play that. So still, we need 10 cycles now. Cycle a Dinosaur. I know that this stage of the game, what some people do is they hit F6. So that way you don't have to click on your triggers ever or auto yield to any of them. But I'm a coward. I get a little afraid that I'm going to accidentally skip my turn with 26 mana floating. So I don't do that. But people that are braver than I can, uh, I'm aware that I can do it. I just don't want to. So yeah, they're at nine. Just keep cycling. Almost done. Cycle of Baron Moore. I love ki uh, killing people with Baron Moors. It's just so silly. Like you're killing them with a cycling land. Beautiful. Magic is a wonderful game. All right. So that's game number one versus what I'm guessing is as it fairies. We probably want Pyroblast and the Mirror Shell Crab. I like boarding down on mana versus some of these uh, control decks just because mana's um, like it's not really about speed, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you're better off boarding down on that and keeping your cycler count high. I like the one of Crab just in case they do have Graveyard Hate. Or down a couple copies of Monstrous Carabid and now we're at 61. I think I'd rather have the Ardent Elementalist rather than the Mystical Teachings. So I'm going to do this. You could try boarding out Cabal Ritual as well. Another thought that I've had recently is Mirror Shell Crab sort of fills the spot with the fourth Pyroblast. I've been wondering if like maybe Hypothetically, you should uh, be playing three Ingot Chewer and three Pyroblast because Mirror Shell Crab is kind of the fourth copy of each. And then you could play two slots for something else. But the thing is, when I'm constructing my sideboard, I don't know what else I want. Like I'm playing two copies of Darkness that I'm not even sure that I want in my sideboard. So that's another thing I've been thinking about just because name a deck that outraces Cycle Storm. There aren't many in the format, especially that can do it consistently. So that our, that our sideboard also doesn't cover already. Like it's just really tough. So like, I don't know if I want darkness in there because this is really for like Bogles or Mono White Heroic. And like, I think your game plan in those matchups is just be a faster, better combo deck. So I have two slots that I don't know what to do with already. And if I cut one of each of those spells, now I have four slots I don't know what to do with. We'll keep. Like, I guess I could go back to playing the um, Writhing Necromass, but I don't know if I even like that card. Anymore. So we'll play a Vault of Whispers past the turn. They cycle a Lurian Revealed. They pick up a Blue-Red Dual Land, and then they play a Preordain. They put two cards on top. That's not scary. All right, cycle the Monstrous Carabid. We draw into a Dranith Healer. How delightful. Play Great Furnace, pass the turn. Land number three from our opponent. Let's cycle a few creatures. We have a Dranith Healer here. Let's cycle a Street Wraith. 
If I draw Dark Ritual, and I did, I was going to say I would consider Dark Ritual Deadly Dispute here. Okay, so we will Deadly Dispute sacrificing the Greed Furnace. So their Cast into the Fire can Resolve and Fizzle. We'll draw off the Healer. And now we'll Cycle Drain and Stinger. Mirror Shell Crab. Let's draw Reaping the Graves. Come on. Another Deadly Dispute. 44 cards left in our deck. Dark Ritual. Cycle a Dranith Stinger. Ball Ritual. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. Five uh, creatures in the graveyard. We're just digging for a Reaping the Graves at this point. Cycle the Vantasaur. Another Songs. Okay. Let's sacrifice Vault of Whispers and pray. Cycle the Street Wraith. Land. Cycle the Dranith Healer. Come on, Doc. We're already 33% of the way through. And Cycle Storm said, no, you don't deserve a Reaping the Graves. Unfortunate. They Cycle Lurian Revealed. That's fine. So they play their fourth land. I just need to draw into a Reaping the Graves. Even if I draw one here, I can beat Double Counter Spell. All right, Imposing Vantasaur will Cycle. We need to pass. Cast into the Fire on my land. Yep. Reordain. They have five cards in it. I could still beat double counter spell. I just have to draw a card that's good. If you draw another land, I'll pass. Like, I don't mind drawing a great furnace. It's not the worst draw, but I kind of would just like to draw Reaping the Graves. Ghost Fire. Sure. So maybe they're just like, is it control? We haven't actually seen any fairies yet or any fairy like cards. Dinger. Cycle. Three Wreath puts me to 11. Cycle the Horror. All right, I have to pass. Goblin Wizardry. Okay. I guess I'm at 11. They could theoretically kill me here. Land number five, they have four cards. I'm 50% of the way through my deck and I have not found a Reaping the Graves. They only deal me two. Thank you. All right, it's time to party. Another Songs. Let's play it. 14 mana. They Counterspell. I will Pyroblast. They counterspell again, and I will pyroblast. But my pyroblast counters their counterspell. And now songs of the dam will make roughly one million mana. Deadly dispute, sacrificing great furnace. Oh boy, twenty six cards left in deck. Cycle Baron more. Why are you like this? Ugh. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to just play a mirror shell crab. Go. Wow, 25 cards left in deck. There's four Reaping the Graves. They play an Augur of Balos. They find a Preordain. <coughs> Excuse me. And they play Preordain. They put one on top, one on the bottom. Talarian Terror. So this is just Blue Red Terror, I guess? Please deck, Reaping the Graves. Nope, no such luck. Guess I'll pass the turn. They have two cards in hand. Another Augur of Balos. Interesting that they tap double island, leaving the mountain up. They find a brainstorm. Yep. Am I dead here? I mean, theoretically, they could kill me with the wizard tokens and then the terror. Like, I block the terror and then they kill me with the other ones. And I mean, they're going for it. I'll block the terror. So if they cast both spells here, that's exactly nine. The echoing truth, their own terror. I go to two. All right, so I have one final draw step. And it's a land. 23 cards left for Reaping the Graves. Okay, that was unfortunate. <sighs> Am I overreacting if I bring back in the teachings after that? <laughs> uh, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. I'm going to board out the Mirror Shell Crab. Let's try this. Like, we, they saw a lot of their deck and they never played a Graveyard Hate spell, so I'm not even sure if they have one. But this has no Cyclers, no Reaping the Graves. I think I'm going to. But, like, land drops are so good against blue decks. I know that this is greedy. Like, I get it. They've taken a mulligan to five. Play Great Furnace, and we'll pass the turn. They play a dual land. We'll draw. Yikes. All right, I'm going to main phase this Deadly Dispute because I just need it to resolve. Okay, that was fine. Cast into the fire. All right, let's burn the Dark Ritual. And I'm going to Deadly Dispute the Vault of Whispers. Cycle Baron more. That can resolve. Well, we already have Threshold. That's a plus. Cycle. Okay, so if we can find a Reaping the Graves now, I'm feeling decent. I mean, we have one creature in our graveyard, so maybe I'm wrong. 
Another cast into the fire. Sure. They have three cards left in their hand. Cycle a monstrous carabed. There's reaping. We'll pass the turn. So if I had another black mana, I would have played Cabal Ritual and cycled a bunch. But I'm not going to Songs of the Dam for two black. That doesn't feel worth it to me. They have three cards. Another reaping. We'll cycle the stinger. There we go. Pass. Land number five. They tried to cast a spell and then stopped. I don't know what that means. Like maybe it was a terror to figure out how much mana they needed to pay. Cycle the horror. We find another land. That's honestly not bad. We'll play the vault. Just pass. Oh, were they thinking about hard casting Lorien revealed? I mean, it's not the craziest thing. They still have three cards. On the end step, we'll cycle the horror. Deadly Dispute's not bad. Cycle the Baron more. Street Wraith will bring us to 18 life. I think at this point I'm just worried about clock time. All right, let's play Cabal Ritual with Threshold. Let's see if this resolves. And it does. Cycle the Horror. Granith Healer. Let's try another Cabal Ritual. That resolved. Okay. Lotus Petal. We'll try a Deadly Dispute. Sacrificing Vault of Whispers. Cycle Granith Healer. And another healer. So Songs of the Dam will now make 10 mana. Cycle the Carabid. There's another Songs. They have three cards in hand. Play a Lotus Petal. Let's attempt a Songs of the Damned. That just resolved. Try another Songs. And Reaping the Graves. This is spell number eight. I'm wondering if their hand is just like a bunch of blue blasts or something. I'm trying to figure out like what it could possibly be at this point where our opponent's taking no meaningful actions. We'll play a stinger. And I think playing out another one would probably not be great because they could just kill the first one in response and you're down a card and mana. So instead we're just going to try to kill them with one. Just keep cycling. They appear to be full F6. So if that's the case, I'm not going to waste my time. Let's play another stinger. Okay, dark ritual. Cycle. Normally, I would cycle with only one stinger in play, but if my opponent's just like not going to do anything, I might as well just try to move on with my knight. All right, they're at 12. Let's play another one. You un f6. Okay. Blue blast. We'll just cycle with that on the stack. Okay. Cycle a street wraith. This brings us down to 12. Deadly dispute. Sacrifice a land. Cycle another street wraith. Hey, we're almost tied. Almost. Cycle another Stinger. They're at four. Just need to cycle a couple more creatures and we're about to be 2-0 in this Pauper League. That's so much fun. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. We are 2-0. Three matches left. Feeling pretty good. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Back for the third match. We're on the draw and I've opened up no creatures with one Baron more. I think you're probably supposed to send that one. This is better. We'll keep. I'll bottom a Baron more here. I almost bottomed the Cabal Ritual, but who knows? And I believe I remember this person correctly. Their name is Season of Mist. Like they play Turbo Fog. Turbo Fog happens to be a pretty good matchup for us. I don't know if I've ever lost to it, to be honest, but tonight could be the first time. Auto yield to that ability. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. We find a Reaping the Graves. Play the Vault of Whispers. Pass. And they cycle a Lorien Revealed, grabbing a basic island. They play it and are passing. We'll cycle a Street Wraith going down to 18. I guess the... The one tough thing about this is if they have main deck weather the storms, that could be bad. Okay, so it looks like I've stalled out on cyclers. Pass the turn. I knew it. Should have bought him that Cabal Ritual. We'll cycle Dranith Healer. And Songs of the Dam pass. Three creatures is not enough. 
playing two more than last night and still uh, struggling to hit them consistently. They play a Simic Growth Chamber. Okay. Try cycling a Stinger again. Cycle the Baron more. Play a Greed Furnace. Pass. Okay. I'm just going to be disciplined and wait. Play out a Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Behold the Multiverse. And then they play Eureka Moment. So they draw two and then they can put a land into play. They put Ash Barons on the battlefield. And then they cycle another one. Pieces of the puzzle. So they find two Stream of Thought, Allurian Revealed, Growth Spiral, and another Eureka moment. They take double Stream of Thought. On their end step, let's Dark Ritual. And then Reaping the Graves. Turn a couple Cyclers. I'm worried about them having double Weather the Storm, but I'm not sure if I can do a whole lot about that. Okay, we'll Cycle. Love finding another Stinger there. Cycle the Street Wraith. Love it. Cycle the Horror. Cycle Street Wraith. Okay. They discard a pair of Moment Speeds. Play a Lotus Petal. A Ball Ritual. Let's attempt a Dranith Stinger. What about another Stinger? Cycle a Healer. So they take two and we'll draw a card. Let's try another Cabal Ritual. That seems to have resolved. Imposing Vantasaur. Okay. Cycle the Healer. So this brings them down to 16. We add another Lotus Petal. Songs of the Damned. Let's try Reaping the Graves. This would be a really good spot for them to play Double Weather the Storm. They're thinking about it here. Uh, Moments Peace does not get the job done. I'm sorry, friend. And then a Weather. So you shouldn't have let me start returning creatures then. Let's see if I can kill them with that Storm Trigger on the stack. Yeah, they messed up by letting some of these resolve. Okay, we'll draw two. They're at ten. So I just need to draw some cyclers in a row, and then that would be the game. Or another Reaping the Graves. Speaking of the devil. Okay, another Imposing Vantasaur. We'll cycle that. They're at six. I think they're deterministically dead. Dark Ritual, that definitely does it. And Reaping the Graves again. Main deck weather. If they had played it in a more opportune way, it would have been more effective. Like, here's the thing, though. I can do 60 to 80 damage pretty easily. So I'm not sure if weather to gain 30 would have been good enough, but we'll never know because I'm going to kill them. Okay, so that is game number one. I do like Mirror Shell Crab and then Pyroblast. I don't even know if I want all four, though, because like the card in the matchup that matters isn't blue, but they have a couple pieces of counter magic that they bring in. So that is why I want some of them. I'm going to board down two Lotus Petals and then two Monstrous Carabid. We'll try this. Sure. Why not? They play a turn one dual land. Vault of Whispers past the turn. They cycle a Lorien Revealed. And they grab a Tangled Islet, the blue-green dual land. Let's cycle the Horror. They have five cards in hand. We draw another cycling creature. Great Furnace, I love that. Let's cycle the Healer. Cycle Baron more. I don't want to put too many creatures in the graveyard if I don't have to. I also could have waited till they're on step. Uh, probably would have been the correct thing to do, but I got ahead of myself. Okay, so... We're looking for land three now. I cycled the bear more on purpose just because I don't want to stall out. If I don't hit land three here, it's not the end of the world. Cycle the stinger. There's a baron more. Let's cycle the vantasaur. All right, we'll end up playing a baron more here. Send it back. End step, they cast brainstorm. I feel like we might untap and try to win on our turn. We'll see what happens, but it seems like a reasonable possibility. They cycle an ash barons. For a basic island. Like I mentioned, I think the cards that actually matter in this matchup are green and not blue. Four mana for a Murmuring Mystic. Alright friend, you're dead. Dark Ritual. We have Threshold, we'll play a Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. Posing Vantasaur. Play the Great Furnace. We'll make two red. Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Vault of Whispers. Cycle Street Wraith. We'll play Songs of the Damned. Reaping the Graves. We have like no storm. 
Okay, so I'm gonna teachings and we'll just go get another songs. So this is gonna be for seven, so we'll leave one. I think that's fine. So the question is, do you play out the stinger or not when you have 12 mana floating? I have six redraws. I think I'm going to play the stinger. It might bite me in the butt, but it's what I'm going to choose to do. We also have a teachings in the graveyard, so I think our odds of fizzling are a little bit lower. All right, just keep cycling. Love drawing in other songs there. We're at 17. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Another stinger. Let's play that. Now we just need eight cycles, and we already have four in hand. Okay, we cycle the dinosaur, and then we drew another dinosaur. Play out the Lotus Petal. We'll cycle a Dranith Healer. Three mana floating left after that. We draw a Great Furnace. We'll cycle another Monstrous Carabid. They're at eight life now. Another Street Wraith. We'll cycle that. They'll go to six. We only, we only need a couple cyclers here. Uh, I think the Baron Moor... No, we need one more after the Baron Moor. Okay. And we... Draw the stinger, so that's actually going to end up being lethal, and we're going to advance to 3-0. Pretty cool. Boom. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed the video so far, and maybe you'll enjoy the next two as well, so stick around and find out if we get the trophy in this league. I'll see you in the fourth match. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. On the play in the fourth match, let's go! Amazing hand, we'll try it. I can already feel the difference between the league that I played last night and tonight. One, I'm playing better. And two, I had a lot of games last night where I just fizzled or didn't draw enough creatures. And tonight, I feel like the creature count has felt a lot better with four copies of Monsters Carabid. If you have any opinions on that, I'd like to hear from you in the comments section. But I just feel like this card has been a huge difference maker so far. Our opponent's taken a mulligan to six. We'll play our land and pass the turn. Bajuka Bog in the main deck. Turn one. Okay. We'll cycle an imposing Vantasaur. Teachings, we're looking for land number two. We did not find it. We'll cycle a Carabid. I can't tell what's happening. Our opponent's taking pause. They're either really mad that they played a turn one Bajuka Bog or something else is going on. We draw another Street Wraith. Let's cycle that. Lotus Petal, cycle the Wraith. No land, we'll pass. So I normally don't like filling up my graveyard against the Bajuka Bog decks. Blue. Okay, so they're... Blue black fairies, and they find a brainstorm. Draw for turn. It's a land. I suppose that's a bonus. Cycle the horror. Play Baron more. Pass. They cast brainstorm. Maestro's theater. So they get the perfect brainstorm here. Grabbing another basic island. We'll draw for turn. It's a lotus petal. We'll cycle monstrous carabid. I'd love a songs of the damned here. Because I think if I drew songs, I'd consider trying to win. All right, I'm going to burn a Dark Ritual. Let's see if we can get something going here. 44 cards left in our deck. We draw another Lotus Petal. Cycle the Healer. Deadly Dispute. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. We find our land. Play out a Lotus Petal. I'm going to Deadly Dispute here. Sacrifice the Great Furnace. Unfortunately... I mean, I could try to burn both petals to hit a songs. I mean, there's four in the deck. We're already 33% of the way through. Cycle Carabid. Oh my, we actually hit. We actually hit. Songs. Cycle the Horror. Okay, now I'll play the Elementalist. This gets back Songs of the Damned. Play it for 11 mana. Reaping the Grave. Storm 9. So that means that there's two creatures we're leaving in the graveyard. As always, street rates first. It's just the cardinal rule. That is after you make your selection. Your, so your selection for the first copy should never be street wraith. Okay, so we've used three lotus petals and one deadly dispute. So I have one petal, three deadly dispute to win. Let's deadly dispute away the elementalist. Another reaping. Cycle the vantasaur. Keep the line moving. Cabal ritual. Love that. Okay, cycle a stinger. 
Vault of Whispers, Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands, Dark Ritual. All right, I have enough mana where I'm just going to return the four. I don't need to do it with them all on the stack at this point. Cycle the Carabid. Okay. Another Deadly Dispute. I do like that. We'll Deadly Dispute away the Vault of Whispers. Two Baron more. That could have been better. Cycle the Healer. Plat a Lotus Petal. Cycle the Healer again. Full Mystical Teachings. Three songs left in the deck. All right, I'm going to cycle a Baron more. Maybe I should have done this before Teachings. I didn't realize that I had three songs left. Uh, cycle the Baron more. Play the songs. 15, cycle Horror. Cycle the Stinger. And we hit another songs. Okay, so we have 29 mana. We'll play the Reaping the Graves. Light up our graveyard here. Holy moly. We have a tall graveyard. Everybody is coming home. All right, and now Reaping the Graves will resolve. We'll return all of our creatures, however many that may be. Play out the Stinger and another Stinger. Sweet. So now we just have to cycle 11 times. So we'll cycle Street Wraith, cycle another one. This is always the most boring part of the deck. Like, I do think the deck is like a beautiful puzzle. But after you have Double Stinger in play with like roughly infinite mana, it's just like a little te tedious to click all the way through. That said, it is one of the uh, aspects of playing online. All right, they're at seven. We're almost done. They're at three. Now they'll go to one. And then the final cycle of Horror of the Broken Lands. And that will be game number one versus Demir Fairies. It would appear that for Graveyard Hate, the most recent list has one main deck Bajugabog and then zero to one Relic of Progenitus. So I'm not going to board in and get sure. I do think I want the Mirror Shell Crab and then some number of Pyroblast. 65. Once again, I think you can shave the Carabids, a couple copies of Lotus Petal. I think I want to try leaving in both of these spells. I'm going to do something crazy here. Am I really going to do it? I don't even know if I want to say it out loud. I'm going to cut a dark ritual. Don't judge me. I just think that like it is not at its best against the fairy stacks. And I've even considered recently, like what if instead of playing four dark ritual, two cabal ritual, what if you just play two dark ritual four cabal ritual? Because you're a deck that like can't really win unless your graveyard is full anyway. So like, should you just be on four cabal ritual? It's a thought that I've had. I've tested it in like one or two leagues and it was fine, but that was eight months ago i don't know if that would hold up now this looks like a reasonable hand we will keep our opponent plays island into preordain sure thing songs of the damned is a good one play the vault past the turn and they play a brainstorm basic island cycle a lorian revealed they get a contaminated aquifer We'll cycle a dinosaur looking for land number two. We find another Songs of the Damned. And there's our land. Perfect. I'm just going to pass here. I thought about, like, what if I played out the Drenus Stinger? Like, do you think our opponent has removal? And then I remember Blue Elemental Blast exists. Like, why, why would I ever do that? They have an Augur of Bolas. They had apparently whiffed. Okay, this, I think, is our turn. So our opponent tapped out. They said, Brian, I think you're bad at magic. You're not going to win. Uh, they literally said that in my mind. Definitely not in the Magic Online chat. So we're going to try to kill them here. That was a very good draw for turn. Cycle Street Wraith. We have four in the graveyard. Let's party. Imagine choosing to register Augur of Bolas when you could choose to register Songs of the Damned instead. I don't know why anyone would ever make that decision. Deadly Dispute. Sacrifice a Vault of Whispers. Let's cycle the Healer. We'll eat up that red mana. We'll play a Songs for seven. Deadly Dispute, Sacrifice the Great Furnace. Cycle of Dranus Stinger. Let's cycle the Baron more. Draw another Pyroblast, that doesn't help. Play Songs of the Damned. And then let's Ardent Elementalist. Get back Songs of the Damned. Play the Songs. 14 mana. And then Reaping the Graves. This will return everything. So the question is, like, do they have Snuff Out? Because I could try to play out double Stinger, but if they Snuff Out one in response, it could be a little awkward. We'll play a Stinger, and I think I'm just going to jam the other one. All right, no Snuff Out. 
I have nine mana, they're at 20. But I have a street rate, so all we need to do is just chain cyclers and it should be lethal. Apparently I have a land drop, that's good to know. Cycle street wraith. And our opponent concedes, yes! All right, 4-0, one match left, let's go get it. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. It's the final round, playing for the championship, the 5-0 trophy. All right, so no land. I mean, this hand is very good, assuming that you could cycle into a land. Uh, you could take the bold decision of turn one, Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Triple Cycle. Um, I don't know if I love that, though. So I'm going to be a coward and mulligan. <sighs> We're going to five. This is how it ends. Uh, not with a bang, but with a whimper. Um, we'll go to four. I don't know if I've ever won on a mulligan to four with this deck, but here we go. Sure. Our opponent is also mulligan to four, apparently. Okay, we'll play a turn one Baron more pass. Okay, mountain. I don't know if our deck can beat red on a mulligan to four, but we'll see. Land number two for them. Yeah, we're not beating burn on a mulligan to four. It would take a miracle. Cycle the stinger. Okay, cycle Baron more, and then cycle the healer. You might be saying, but Bryant, you can Deadly Dispute and then cast the healer. I think that's a trap. They have four cards in hand. They ping me with the Alchemist, and they pass. Reaping the Graves, okay. I'm going to Deadly Dispute, hoping to draw into lands and cyclers here. That was pretty good. Cycle the Stinger. Storm is one. I'm going to pass. They do not burn me on the end step. That's interesting. Land number three after missing a land drop last turn. What does that mean? They ping me. Chain lightning. So they held that for a turn. I'm not going to copy it. All right, let's see what we can do. Ball ritual threshold. Cycle the monstrous carabid. Cycle healer. Cycle baron more. Lotus petal. Lotus petal. Deadly Dispute sacrificing the Great Furnace. Play Great Furnace. So the question is, do I want to go to 12 against a deck with Lightning Bolt and Fire Blast? So out of their three cards, let's say they have Lightning Bolt, Fire Blast. That would be 7-9 damage. This would bring me to 12. So their hand would have to be exactly Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Fire Blast. I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith. If they have exactly that, cool. Like your Mulligan to 4 was also nuts. Uh, we'll play songs here. Now reaping the graves for six. Return street wraith, double healer, stinger, stinger. So I think I'm actually going to play out two copies of Dranith Healer right now. Sacrifice for a white, we'll play a healer. Sacrifice for a white, we'll play another healer. Street wraith will be a break even on life now, so it's just a free cycle. They bolt in response. I'm going to cycle in response. We need to gain some life. Okay, they're gonna bolt in response. I'll cycle in response. We'll draw off the stinger. Dark ritual. Cycle the Drana Stinger. Quite the stack we have going on here. Our opponent has one card left in their hand. We draw a deadly dispute. So I could sacrifice one of the creatures that the bolt is targeting. We will sacrifice this, draw two. Draw two more creatures, okay. This bolt will fizzle. And now I'll gain two life, draw a card. Their alchemist will untap. So they should ping here, but they missed the trigger. Um, I think I'm not going to cycle anymore. I think 16 life versus one card in an alchemist is enough. I want to save the resource. 18 life, my apologies. Draw. Okay. We will pass. We're at 18. They have one card in hand and one thermal alchemist. They, they definitely missed a ping in there. I don't know how many, but it was definitely one. Cycle the Vantasaur. They ping me now, sure. Another reaping. I don't think I want to do the Horror Beatdown plan, so I'm going to cycle. No need to cycle the Street Wraith right now. I'm going to play the Baron more and pass. They ping me. I go to 16. Vault of Whisper. 
Songs will make nine mana, which actually isn't that much. I'm going to cycle drain a stinger. Another street rate. That's a little awkward. I'm going to pass. Our opponent's just not casting spells. So I go to 15. Chain lightning. I'm not going to copy it. They have three cards in hand. On their end step, I will cast... Whoops. Need a blue mana, not a white. Mystical teachings. We're going to go grab a Songs of the Damned. All right, we have two left. Draw for turn. Ardent Elementalist. We'll play Songs. Play the Elementalist. I'm going to choose to grab Deadly Dispute here. I realize that's a little bit risky, and I could take the conservative play to grab Songs of the Damned. But I feel like I'm lower on resources, and that's like not necessarily the best play. We'll cast Cabal Ritual. And like I'm low on Storm Count, too. So by taking this line, I can create more Storm for my Reaping the Graves and just get a little bit extra. Songs. We'll play the songs for 11. And now we're going to Reaping the Graves. So Elementalist, Stinger, Healer, Healer, Stinger, Stinger. All right, they have three cards in their hand. White Mana will play a Healer, play another Healer. Cycle of Street Wraith. And it looks like they're F6. I don't know if they're going to un-F6, but they could. Cycle again. Cycle the Carabid. Lotus Petal's decent. Cycle Stinger. Songs of the Damned. Okay, let's play out a uh, Stinger here. Cycle a Stinger. This will bring me up to 18 life. The annoying thing is when you have both Dranaths in play, you have to click on which one you want to resolve first. We'll play a Songs for 9 mana, and then Reaping the Graves. This should return everything. Okay, so we're just clicking on random cards. Well, now we're bring everything back. I'd be interested to know if I've ever won on a Mulligan to 4 with Cycle Storm. Like, this might be a first here in this video. Cycle some Street Wraiths. Like, what could their hand possibly be where they have three cards and they can't cast any of them? Dark Ritual. Cycle a Horror. Deadly Dispute. That means that I can play another copy of Dranith Stinger. It comes at the cost of more clicks. So we'll cycle the Street Wraith. Because now you have to click twice for every cycle. I mean, I guess I could have sacrificed the Dranith Healer. But who doesn't love gaining life versus burn? Another Lotus Petal. All right, let's play out a third Dranith Stinger. Like I said, who doesn't love clicking tons and tons of time? All right, so they go to eight. 15 minutes left on the clock, and this is only game one. Okay. Only a few more cycles. There's one of them. And our opponent conceded. Okay, so we are now going to the post board games where I gain Weather the Storm. So we'll bring those in. I like boarding out like two copies of Street Wraith and then maybe one monstrous Carabid. This seems like a reasonable hand we'll keep. All right, if we get this game, that is the trophy. I went from throwing four different games last night, converting them into losses to possibly getting a 5-0 trophy the next night. That's a that's a lifeline for you, I guess, or a storyline. Mountain into Gorilla Shaman. That's not very nice. They have three cards left in their hand, so they mulligan to five this time. I'll play the Great Furnace, pass the turn. Drawing both street rates is a little bit awkward, but honestly, in this situation, it's not the worst. So we'll cycle the Carabid. We draw into an imposing Vantasaur. They're going to get in there with the Gorilla Shaman. I'm at 19. Baron Moor, yeah, good luck destroying that Gorilla Shaman. Get out of here. Land number three. Kessig Flame Breather. And now they attack for one. I'll go to 18 life. They have two cards in their hand. All right, let's cycle a Street Wraith. We'll go to 16. Cycle another Street Wraith. Go to 14. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Let's see another creature here. There we go. We'll cycle that. One black mana floating. Dark Ritual. That's threshold for this Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. And again, we'll cycle the Dinosaur. Cycle the Dranith Healer. Almost a third of the way through at this point. Another Reaping the Graves. So, Songs will be Storm 5. Reaping the Graves will be Storm 6. Reaping the Graves. Street Wraith. Street Wraith, Carabid, and then the others. 
So I think I'm actually fine cycling the wraiths. So if our opponent has Bolt Fire Blast, that would only put me to one. Assuming that, you know, the Kessig Flame Breather triggers and I cycle both. Okay, keep cycling. Another land. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Another land. Cycle the Stinger. Teachings. I don't really need that at the moment. Cycle the Healer. Play the Great Furnace. Cycle the Baron more because we can. Deadly Dispute. I'm going to play Songs. And then we'll tap for a red. Deadly Dispute away the Great Furnace. We find a Weather. Let's cycle the Baron more. And then the Carabid. We'll play Ardent Elementalist. This can get back Songs. Makes 10 mana. Reaping the Graves. Our opponent on F6 for some reason. I don't really know what they're up to here, but I'm pretty sure that they have some burn in their hand. And they saw that I got back Street Race and were like, oh, I can maybe stop him from winning. But I'm actually just sitting on this Weather of the Storm, and we're going to gain a lot of life. I'll make a green. Granite Stinger. Cycle a healer. Cycle another healer. We drew a Lotus Petal. That's not bad. Play the Petal. Cycle a Monstrous Carabid. They have two cards in their hand. We'll cycle another. Cycle a Dinosaur. Cycle another Dinosaur. A lot of lands. I guess I could have Teachings for another Songs at some point. Let's cycle three rate. This will bring me to eight. Heal them one. Ooh, we hit Songs. Let's go. Make seven. So... Street Wraith here puts me to six, which is still one more than I need so I don't lose to uh, Fire Blast. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Let's Deadly Dispute, sacrificing the Ardent Elementalist. Play out a Lotus Petal. And then sacrifice the Treasure. We'll cast Teachings. Grab the fourth copy of Songs of the Damned. We'll play it from 18. Um, I'm going to Weather now. Show our opponent that we're going to gain roughly infinite life. I'm a storm deck. That's what I do. And we win the match. We got the trophy. We did it. Five and O oh with Cycle Storm. Welcome back to Pauper, everyone. I absolutely love it. This was so much fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. Screenshot or something if you want. I don't care. Probably not. No one's going to do that. But yeah, deck list was great. I don't know what I would make any changes. Like I know that I talked about like cutting one Pyroblast and one Ingot Chewer. I don't really love Darkness. You could play Writhing Necromass, but like I don't know what it's good against anymore. So do whatever makes you happy. That's probably my biggest recommendation. But I think that the main deck is probably ideal. Uh, I was on four Cabal Ritual for a while, but I think the problem with that is you're just too inconsistent. And we were doing it previously because Mono Ride was goldfishing you on turn three. And that's not the case anymore. So 5-0 feels really good. Um, what do I think about the Pauper format at the moment? I don't know. I've played two whole leagues. It's tough to say. Um, I know that I wasn't happy pre-ban. I don't know how much the format has changed, but it does seem a touch bit slower which is ideally what I wanted. I still think that Tularean Terror probably should have been banned, but I'm not on the Pauper Format panel. My opinions don't matter. And uh, I don't know. I'm just here to cast uh, Songs of the Damned and Reaping the Graves. I mean, that's what we really all want when we watch these videos, right? So, all right, enough of me rambling. Hopefully you enjoyed the 5-0. Have a great day. And as always, keep storming. See ya. Hey, Bryant Cook, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There's no better way to support our channel. If you're interested in elevating your combo game, visit theepicstorm.com slash tutoring for details about our coaching sessions. Don't worry, there's more great combo content coming right up.